Oh, are we live? Not sure. Hang on. Still loading. Still loading. Hey guys, how you doing? Friday night. I'm here with you. Like I said, I was going to be last week. So hope you're here with me. Um, oh, hang on. Still not going. Are we going? Are we live? If I'm live, can you know what I'm like? Did this? We went through this last week. Can we just someone just send me a quick little message to make sure that I'm live? <laughs> Aha, we are live. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Um, so yeah, how you doing? Another week down in isolation. It's been fun, huh? Not. Um, I am live. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thanks, thanks very much, mate. Thank you. I'm just, you know, if you've watched last week's uh, live video, you'd know that I'm not tech savvy at all. Uh, I'm a little bit better. I have gotten a little bit better, um, especially with TAFE now being online and things like that. I sort of have no choice but to learn this stuff, um, which is good. I think we should all be trying to, you know, in these times where we've got, we're all stuck at home. Um, you know, unable to get to work and you know, and all that sort of stuff, unable to leave the house except for essential things. I think we should all be trying to learn something, something new. Teach ourselves. Let's grow a little bit. You know what I mean? As people. Um, yeah. So, hey, Death. How you doing, man? Thanks for being online with me, champion. Um, so yeah. Um, last week. We talked about a little bit of, you know, anxiety and what that can do to someone. Um, and it's, you know, again, we all know it's not nice, anxiety. Um, the things that it can do, it can cripple us and things like that, you know. And But that being together, you know, it can help us bring out those fears and those anxieties, you know. Hi, Shaz. How you doing? Sorry I didn't say hi to you last week. I, it wasn't until I finished until I went back and I saw all your comments. Um, yeah, so sorry. Hello, cousin. Love you very much. Thanks for joining um so yeah as i said last week we were touching on the anxiety of things and the fears that we all go through and you know they're all normal they're all normal things um nothing to be ashamed of at all i'm not so you shouldn't be either um it's not a sign of weakness to ask for help remember that it's it's strength um you know so what i wanted to do tonight was just start off with a few of those um support systems and the support lines and you know the things that can help people um, at this time um, with everything that's going on and not only just in this time that's going on but in life in general you know what I mean if you're ever feeling down and out and you know you just can't you know life's getting a bit too tough there are lots of places hey mum uh, <laughs> there's lots of places where you can reach out you know and I'm going to run through a few of them here um, so I touched on lifeline last week um, as I said last week, um, times like this and with all the extra added stresses in life that we've all got um, and with, you know, people losing their jobs and, you know, and people losing their lives with this terrible virus, um, unfortunately, Smitty, Smitty, um, I'll get to you back. I'll get to you later, champion. Um, yeah, in times like this, you know, unfortunately, People are going to have wrong thoughts, you know, and thoughts of you know, unfortunately ending their life just to get away from all this stress and, you know, and unfortunately those rates are going to go up. So I'll give you the lifeline number again. If you if you yourself are struggling or, you know, anyone else that's struggling, please reach out to them and, you know, give them this number. Again, lifeline 13 11 14. That's 13, 11, 14. Very important number, guys. Very important number. Put it in your phones just, just in case we have that, those thoughts in the back of our head. You know what I mean? Um, hey, Mary Ann. It is, Melissa, thanks for joining me. It is, and it's too, it's, you know, it's, it's rife. You know what I mean? As I said last week, even when times are good, the suicide rate is just too high. So I just... I can't imagine what it's going to be like over the next six, 12 months, even, you know, 24 months, you know what I mean, when we're all recovering from what's going on now. So, again, Lifeline number 13, 11, 14. Uh, they have a website as well, lifeline.org.au. 
Um, and as I said last week too, they've, they have just announced a new, well, it's probably not new, but uh, new to me, I didn't know about it. Um, they've got a, a text number. So if we don't, there are people out there that just have phone anxiety. Anxiety comes in many different forms, guys, not just, you know, just the normal form. It comes in many different forms. So people um, are anxious to even talk on the phone to people, you know. So as I say, they've set up a new text line number where you can actually text them with your phone um, and that you can text back and forth, which is, I think that's fantastic. I really do. And that number, got a pen? Ready? 0477 and there are the hours for those uh, for that text line is 6 p.m. to 12 p.m. every night, seven days a week. And look, something I forgot to mention last week. And just because if it gets to, you know, 12:01, oh, look, you haven't you haven't missed you haven't missed out. Send the text and they will get back to you. Okay, so 04 13 one four. That's the text line number. Um, I talked about Gotcha for Life last week, and there are again fantastic bunch of people there doing great work. Unfortunately, with what's going on at the moment, they're unable to get out and do all their normal uh, workshops that they would normally be doing at a time like this. Um, but again, they're there online to be able to help. So go and visit them at Gotcha for Life, www.gotchaforlife.org. Great company, great organisation. Um, we've also got Beyond Blue. Now, Beyond Blue, actually, they have counselling services, online counselling services as well. So that's www.beyondblue.org.au. Um, and another one that I didn't mention last week that I probably should have, um, with everyone being in the house now on top of each other, um, we can't leave. Another thing that's going to go up, unfortunately, is domestic violence. Um, now, look, domestic violence doesn't isn't just physical violence that come. Domestic violence, unfortunately, covers a whole range of sort of violent tendencies, you know. And I've written a few down here from my TAFE. Um, you know, there's there's things like financial uh, violence, and financial, I mean, yeah, financial violence. There's sexual violence. There's verbal violence. You know, emotional violence, and of course, the physical violence. So it's not just it's not just physical. There are other forms of domestic violence out there. So, please, if any, if you know anyone who is, you know, dealing with that unfortunate, those unfortunate things, um, you know, the number is one eight hundred respect. I should really have got those numbers down by now, but anyway, just type out respect on your phone. You know what I mean? So one eight hundred respect. Sweet, you know. Um, uh, another one that I new one that I wanted to bring to the attention of everyone too at the moment with again with you know we as adults we're not the only ones going through this you know our kids are going through this as well you know um, we're probably here trying to shelter our kids as much of, of what's going on but they're not stupid you know they know they they're aware of what's happening you know um, so again we've got, I've got two for that I've got two for kids. Um, one is Headspace. Headspace is a fantastic organisation that um, they help deal with uh, young people from the age of 12 up to 25. Um, the, you can catch them online at www.headspace.org.au and organise an online sort of counselling uh, session as well or a meeting or some sort of phone hookup or something. You know, they'll, they will be able to help you in this time. Um, and the number for the uh, for Headspace is one eight hundred six five zero eight nine zero. So one eight hundred six five zero eight nine zero. Got another one here. Um, Kids Health Line. Kids Helpline. Uh, the number one eight hundred double five one eight hundred. It's pretty easy to remember that one. Um, and again, they. What have I written down here? They're an Australian free, private and confidential telephone and online counselling service and they specialise for kids between 5 and 25 so a bit more of a younger range and you know don't don't think that you know your five-year-old or your six-year-old aren't, aren't cluing on to what's going on here you know they can they can sense our stresses as well um, and then you know with them being at home too doing all this online learning I know that my kids are sort of stressing out about it as well so 
you know, don't don't forget the kids as well. You know what I mean? I'm not not that we not that we would, but you know, there there are help out there for the kids as well, not just for us as adults. Okay, so um, so that's the helpline. So that's that. They're the numbers. I'll probably quickly run through them again at the end before I get off. Um, so yeah, like I said, last week was all about together bringing everyone together and that's you know all these videos are going to be about that we, we should bring ourselves together that's how we're going to get through situations like this and not only situations like this in life um, if you are struggling dealing with any kind of anxiety or depression or fear um, please don't hold it in okay um, don't be like me like I used to be and hold it all in um, you know I lost a lot of a lot of time in my life um, self-loathing and um, being down on myself and whereas all I really needed to do was open up to someone and as I said last week, hopefully I'll get it right this week, a problem shared is a problem halved. It's it's that simple, guys. And even just sharing your emotions and how you're feeling right now and in any time, that, that's half the battle. It's half the battle won there by even just getting it out that pressure valve I was talking about last week, you know, instead of keeping it all in to yourself and no, 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 she'll be right. What did I say last week? She'll be right. No time for that anymore. All right. No time for that. So share your problems. You know, there are many people out there that want to help, you know, and so just take advantage of that, you know, and, and you're helping yourself. That's the whole point of it. You're, you're helping yourself. Please don't you know, do this on your own because there's, you don't need that burden. You really don't. You know, there are, as I say, there are many. I've just given you all those, and plus the ones, all those numbers and those websites I've just given you is just a little taste of what's out there. You know what I mean? I'll try and do some more uh, research, and I'll give you some more for next week. But um, yeah, it's a burden you don't need to carry on your own, guys. And you know, if you share it, your problems halved right there and then. So you know, um, tonight I just want to talk a little bit about hope. And what hope can do for people. Um, it's very important hope. Um, you know, we, especially in times like this when we're all sort of locked up and we all sort of feel caged, like caged animals, and we need something, something to look forward to, to, you know, to, to aim towards, you know, um, and hope. We all need hope. Hope of a better day, hope of a better life, which will come for everybody, promise you. Um, but yeah, hope, it's a, it's a very powerful word. And, you know, I want to spread that, the word of hope tonight. You know, there's, um, there's a lot of things that we can look forward to. As I said, this isn't going to last forever. You know, we, we will get back to some sort of normality, whether it will, whether it will be what we were, what we were used to, or whether it be a new life that we now, we're going to have to now adapt to, that's fine. We'll, we've adapted to worse. Well, no, this is pretty bad. But we will get through this together. Okay, this that's how that's what the hope I have is that after all this is said and done, that we're going to band more together. You know, and we're going to rely on each other a little bit more than what we used to. You know, um, yeah, it's we, we need something to look forward to. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, hope, have it, dream of it because you deserve it. OK. Um, all right. That was pretty heavy. <laughs> so how's everyone's week been so far? You know, since since the last time I've spoken to you, it's, um, what have I written down here? What have you been doing with your time this week? Apart from, you know, if you're working at home or you're racing to the shops trying to get some toilet paper here, yeah, good luck with that. Um, still. So what have you been doing with your time? Anyone? Anyone want to comment of, you know, what you've been, what you've all been doing with your time? And, you know, have you, have you learned a new skill? Are you teaching yourself something new? Are you teaching your kids something new? You know, talk to me. Let's talk. Talk it out. That's why I'm here. I'm not here to just talk about myself and about what I've got written down here. That's This is just a guide what I've got written down here, but I'd rather hear from you guys and, you know, let you guys take over, really. Um, another thing I did want to touch on uh, from last week's video 
Um, I mentioned something called monkey brain. Remember monkey brain, that cheeky little monkey that lives up here and at, uh, that's responsible for all the self-doubt and the, you know, the, the naughty thoughts and everything, naughty thoughts, the bad thoughts that go on in our brain. Um, that, you know, that's, that's self-loathing. Um, that you know, you're no good and all that sort of thing and you can't do that and you know, you're not good enough for that and all that sort of stuff. That little cheeky monkey will run your life if you allow it. Um, and what I've found with my cheeky little monkey uh, that I got taught was, this might sound a bit crazy, but hey, I'm a bit crazy myself. Um, give that monkey a name. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Give him a name, give it him, her, it, them, they, give them a name. So it's easier to talk to that monkey so that you can somewhat control it, them, her, it. Um, I'll tell you mine, my monkey's name's Toby. He's a cheeky little monkey. But I have, you know, I, t I talk to Toby a lot. You know, he used to be very, very loud very loud to the point where I couldn't hear anything else but Toby banging against the walls of my brain and, again, telling me, you're no good, you don't deserve good things in life and you know, this is as good as it's going to get for you, so suck it up. Until I learned how to speak to him directly, I, I had no control. You know, I've said that, I said that last week. I had no control and he took over my life and he ruled my life. And, I've, and it could be that, hopefully it's not, but it could be the same for you guys out there. Um, so in a way, by giving them a name, you'll actually be able to sit there and, you know, it might sound bizarre to sit there and have a conversation with yourself, but sometimes we need to because, you know, he's talking to us, they're talking to us in our brain, so we may as well talk back instead of just sitting there listening all the time. Maybe it's our turn to have a chat with him and just say, listen, Toby, Enough's enough. You need to quiet down now, and it's my turn. You've had your turn, now it's my turn, okay? So you can borrow my, you can take my name if you like, Toby, or you can make up your own name, whatever. Um, give him a funny name. Don't give him a you know, serious name. Give him a funny name so he's, you know, and not that we're making light of it. Um, just give it that name where you can sort of, you know, just have that one-on-one -on -one chat with him, you know. And, and listen, it's gonna, it, and it's not easy, okay. I'm still, I still work on it, you know, on a daily basis. So don't think that you're just gonna sit down in a quiet room and be able to get his attention straight away or their attention, its attention, theirs attention. Um, it's gonna take time, but it's worth it. It really is worth the time to sit there and have a chat. Let him know. Let them, it, know who's boss. You are, not them. They're not boss. They used to be, but not anymore. Okay, so just wanted to touch on that. Um, anyone else? Anyone else there want to have a chat? No. Or if if you guys, if you've got anything to ask, anything you want to talk about, anything, if you want to talk about anything else but what I'm talking about, that's fine. Go ahead and type it in. Um, I'm more than willing to have a chat with you guys. I've actually I was a bit hesitant to talk about this, but I've apparently I've found a video online where apparently I can't I haven't, you know, not tech savvy at all, still working on it, but there's a way that I can invite someone on um, to share my screen here and to be on to be live with me with everybody else. Um, as I say, I'm still working on it. My wife's helping me to try and figure it out. Brain. Um, but once I've got that up and running, I would love for it if anyone was interested in coming on and just having a chat, having a one-on-one -on -one chat with me, right, like, like what I'm doing now, because it's really weird talking to myself into a camera right now. I'd prefer to talk to someone. That's why I'm hoping that anyone would like to put in a comment in the chat. Could someone just put a comment in the chats? Because the chats have sort of stopped, and I'm not sure, because I've had internet troubles today at home. Um, I'm sort of hoping that I'm still... I'm still live. I'm still here. Again, I'm not talking to myself like I did last week for the first 10 minutes. That was fun. Um, anyway, so until I see some more comments or, you know, because as I say, nothing's coming up at the moment. But, um, 
So yeah, there's heaps of comments. Oh, okay. What's am I just not, ah? Uh, roll them up, Ryan. He didn't scroll. I told you, I'm not tech savvy. Last week I didn't have to scroll. They just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. Sorry, guys. I'm hopeless. Seriously, I really am. We can see that you, you are know, okay. Thank you. So heaps of people have said when you asked them to comment before so just hit no 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 sorry guys hang on keep going up keep going up so when you ask them what they've been doing all week and then this is what they said oh okay oh okay sweet well let's get back to that because you know I, again i apologize i'm a bit hopeless we are making comments sorry guys i, you know, I don't know bear with me i'm just a i'm just a dude he's trying his best Bear with me. Right, so I'll get back to my planned stuff later. You you guys are much more important. That's why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this for me to talk to a camera. I'm doing it for you. So here we go. Um, Uncle Tim. Hello, Uncle Tim. Thanks for joining me, mate. Uh, James Wallace. How are you, champion? Thanks for joining me, mate. Thank you very much. Ah, Ben Schultz, Schultzy, how are you, buddy? Thanks for joining me, man. Um, oh, thanks, buddy. I, I appreciate that comment. Thank you very much, mate. Ah, Damo, my brother, you did make it. Thank you so much for making it, man. I hope you're still online. I hope you haven't given up because I wasn't, you know, I'm sorry if I haven't, you know. I don't want to go back there. Anyway, so apparently these were what I was, I was asking you guys what you've been doing during the week. Um... My cousin Sharon, homeschooling. How much fun has that been, huh? Yeah, okay. Um, but good luck with it, eh? Like, we've just got to be done, so we've got to do it. Um, and I hope you're all not, you know, I hope you're coping with it okay, and I hope the kids are coping with it okay too. Like I said, it's a lot of pressure on them too, a lot of pressure on us as parents, but yeah. think of the children. A lot of pressure on them too, you know. Have a drink. Um, sorry, things keep popping up. I'll just, Lisa, I can't get onto Ryan's chat. Oh, that's no good. Sorry. Keep trying. It's there. I'm here. I'm definitely here. I started on time and everything. Um, Danny Hayne. Hey, Danny. Thanks for joining me. Just up the road here. Thank you very much. You've been cleaning. Awesome. That's so good. I hope that's keeping you sane and keeping you, you know, motivated to do things. Um, I hope the family are well. I hope everyone's well. Quick shout out to my little rhino champion. How are you, buddy? Hope you're staying fit, mate. Um, Damo, your week has been hit out, so I'm still at work. Oh, dude. Friday night, man. 20 past eight, you poor bugger. Hope you can get home soon, bud, and have a drink with me, eh? Online here. Um, James Wallace, been working out at night. Which has helped heaps. Oh, awesome, man. Whatever helps, dude. Whatever helps. Whatever's helping you up here to relieve a bit of stress and a bit of, you know, pressure, do it. Whatever it is, whatever helps you guys, do it, okay? Um, Sharon, the kids are teaching you things. They're good like that, aren't they? They're awesome. Danny Hayne has learnt that teachers need more money. Preach. I'm telling you. Oh, I don't know how they do it, to be honest. You know, I mean, I really don't know how they can control 30 or so, 30 odd kids in a room, get their attention and their focus to actually do something. Like my hat, if I had a hat, I'd take it off to them. Um, well done, guys. It's just, you know, and they do, yeah, they do deserve a pay rise for sure, you know. Um, oh, haven't seen my Friday night drink. Here it is, champ. Nathan Smith. Sorry, you probably just saw it before, but I'm only, you know, I'm slow. I'm trying to get up there. Here it is, mate. Cheers, bud. That's for you, Smitty. Cheers, champion. And another one. Cheers to you all. Um, Anne Marie talking about her cat Blackie. Blackie is the best. I'll take your word for it. You know, I must admit. Please don't hate me. I'm not a, I'm not a huge cat person. Cats are okay, but I'm just not a you know, had some issues with cats over the years and you know they're awesome but just you know i'm more of a dog man um but you know each to their own eh? each to their own 
Um, Toby naming your monkey after him. No, 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 Toby Monday. Sorry, man, if you are watching, I did not name my monkey after you. I met, uh, I named my monkey well before I met you, so please don't take offense. Um, you're awesome, Toby Monday. I love you, mate. Miss you too. Uh, Simon, my cousin Simon, thanks for joining me, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Hope uh, Kelly's doing well, and hope little beautiful Ruby's doing well too. Hope you're all doing good. Um, Shout out to your mum too. Hope she's doing well and all your family. Hope everyone's doing well. All my cousins out there, love you all. Hope you're all doing good and staying as sane as you possibly can and as healthy as you possibly can. Uncle Tim, disempower. Type that into me again because I – sorry, I've lost um, – what's the word? What's the word? Anyway. Love you, Uncle Tim. Um, Emma, thank you very much. Again, I don't, you know, I'm here for you guys. You know, I'm, this is not for me. You know, I, even though I enjoy doing this, as I said last week, you know, I was sitting there for the last few weeks thinking, what can I do to help people? Um, if this is helping you guys in any sort of way, you know, in a, in a, if I'm teaching you anything or if I'm making you laugh, bonus. Awesome. That's why I'm here. I'm just doing it because I'm bored too. And, you know, I want to reach out and, you know, help as many of you as I can. And I'm hoping that you will repay the favour to other people. and You'll be helping people as well. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, Danny, you've just invited a few friends. Thank you so much. Hello to all of Danny Haynes' friends. How are you going? Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, if you'd like to comment, do a comment, please. You know, I'll, this, again, I'm here for you. We're all here for each other. Together, remember, that's how we'll get through this together. A bit of fun, a bit of, you know, a bit of knowledge, whatever. You know, if I can impart any sort of knowledge that I've got up in here, if Toby lets me. Um, Mum, there's heaps of comments. I must have, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm catching up, eh? I'm catching up. So I'll quickly just try and race through. If I, I don't want to miss anyone because I missed a lot of people last week and I hope I didn't upset you or offend you by that because, uh, again, it, this is for you, not for me. Um... Where did I? I'll just hear you. Ah, yeah, Marie, go, Michelle. That must have been from you. So I'm, I'm that far behind. Awesome. Yeah, she's awesome, my wife. You know, I, you know, I've got to give her some praise. You know, she, I give her a lot of praise. Really, she, she's my rock. She's my everything. You know, and I, you know, she, she's one of the reasons why I've straightened up my life. Um, and her patience and her, uh, just her patience, really, to put up with someone like me. Um, I couldn't ask for a better life partner and I love you darling I know you're watching downstairs and I love you so much for everything that you do for us as a family and for me especially um, couldn't do it without you baby and I love you very much um, oh Damien you'll do it next all right sweet I'll take you up on that I'll do it with you you, you want to talk with me just again as I've proven again tonight um, I'm not tech savvy, man. So as soon as I can figure it out, hopefully in the next few weeks, if I can figure this out, how to actually get two people on here talking to me or one person talking on, it'd be awesome. It really would, you know, just, just to have that, that you know, that one-on-one -on -one and um, being able to share your stories with everybody else um, just so it's not me, the only buffet on here talking. Um, that'd be awesome. I'm pretty sure everyone else would like to hear other people's stories and things like that and how they're all doing um chat michael chat you want to chat i know you you're always up for a chat dp always so anytime man again as soon as i figure this out i'll start getting everyone to come on you know we'll give people time slots and then we you know whatever you know, we'll just we'll figure something out guys we'll figure it out yes damo you will be my first guest because you said it first so yes you're in you're in damo lock him in damien collier collar you're in a couple of weeks Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, James Wallace, right back at you, brother. Thanks for watching, man. Really appreciate it, dude. I know you're busy with, you know, with your family. And everything. Hope your family's doing well. Hey, Beck, how you doing? Hey, kids, how you doing? Um, Linda, Linda Carter. And my kids doing much schoolwork. I'm try we're trying to do it. We've actually, what we've actually done, we've tried to sort of set up 
some sort of keep some sort of normality for the kids. Um, so you know, <laughs> we started at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock is the start. Uh, then we have a recess bell that goes at about ten thirty, and they can have a break. Um, then you know, that goes about half an hour, and then they come back. Um, and then we, I think, lunch is about twelve thirty, I think, to one. Um, and then they come back for their last half, and we finish. School finishes. Another bell goes at three o'clock, and then they can go off and play their playstations or whatever they want to do. So yeah, we are trying um, to keep them on some sort of normality for for them as well. You know what I mean? For us as well, but for them mainly. Uh, James Wallace, you've thoroughly enjoyed homeschooling so far. I hope you have, and I hope that's not just like a sarcastic little thing. I'm pretty sure no one knew it probably is, there's a bit of sarcasm in there. But if you are enjoying it, dude, awesome, sweet as, share your tips, dude. If you if you are enjoying it that much, please share some tips on here. How you know what are you doing that we're not the rest of us aren't? Um, yeah, thanks, man. Uh, Michelle, <laughs> my kids have been causing me stress this week. Yeah. Sorry, that's sort of been a bit my fault too. I haven't been, I've been very busy with TAFE and I've been having a lot of um, online sort of classes for hours and hours. So I haven't been much help this week, baby. So I'm, I'm sorry about that, darling. And kids, straighten up. Stop stressing your mother out. Come on, help her out. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, James, I'm not going to repeat that, but whoever you can probably see that on there. Um, cheeky bugger. Um, <laughs> you naughty little boy, James. Amy, you can see the Tigers, can you? Come on. Come on. Ninth. Yeah, ninth. Nah, once the season gets going, we'll be right. If it gets going, please get going again, please, for my own sanity, please. Um, ah, here we go. Uncle Tim, Slim Farrell, question. What is brown, smells like bananas and falls out of trees? Do you guys know? If you know the answer, put it down and I'll get to it. And Uncle Tim, you better give me that answer because now I'm intrigued. What is brown, smells like bananas, and falls out of trees? Would it be banana shit? I don't know. <sighs> yes, Damo, you know I'm a Tigers fan, mate. You do know. Hello, mummy. Hello, it says here. Say hello to your mother. Hello, mother. Love you very much. Hope you're doing all right up there in isolation. Um, all by yourself. Uh, love you very much. Hope you're keeping sane and looking after your mental health. Call me. Talk to me. Um, Damo, your train of thought. Sorry, dude, of context. I don't, sorry, I'm a bit, you know, I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up. Love you, Damo. My train of thought right now is I just, I want to try and keep up with as many of these comments because I am so far behind. But, oh, hang on, I've just found the answer. Monkey poo. It was monkey poo, not banana poo. I was close. I got the poo right. <laughs> um, hang on, now I've lost my spots. Again, like I said, I don't want to miss anyone. Lisa, Lisa says she's always here for you, Ryan, and the family. Lisa, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And vice versa, right back at you. Again, thank you so much for that toilet paper a few weeks ago. Really appreciated it. Um, Anne Marie says it's been very helpful. Well, I hope you're talking about me. <laughs> but hopefully. Um, my cousin Nicole. Hello, Nicole. How are you doing? How are you doing? What course am I studying? Or have you studied with mental health? Well, I'm actually, last year I studied, uh, I've completed Certificate 3 in uh, Community Services. Um, and this year I've moved on to do Cert 4 in Mental Health. So my aim is to get into the mental health profession and, um, yeah, sort of, you know, again, with my lived experience, hoping to help as many people out there as I can. Um, that's the aim anyway. That's the goal, um, to use what I've 
lived with for a long time, a long part of my life, and to sort of impart any sort of wisdom or anything that I've learned from myself um, and to share that with people like you, all of you. Um, that's that's my aim. Chantel, I missed you last week. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to say it tonight. Hello, Chantel. How are you going? I miss you so much. Michelle misses you so much. Come up and visit. Well, you can't come up and visit us, I suppose, can you? We're all locked away. Um, but, yeah, how you going? Miss you guys so much. Hope you're doing well down there. Hi, cuz. Nicole says. Sharon, my cousin Sharon says. Hey, Ryan, Michaela wants to say hi. Hello, sweetheart. Listen, I wanted to say to you and Tristan that that video that your mum put online tonight, oh, I love that. I'm, even gonna, I'm probably going to share it on my page. So that was just you guys should be here doing this sort of stuff live for everybody else too. You guys are unbelievable. You're very, very talented. So love you, Michaela. Love you, Tristan. Hope you're doing well, both of you. Um, yeah, she's on really behind, eh? Uh, Chantelle again, Michelle dude is the best for sure. Yes, she is by far. You know, she's the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life by a long, long way. Uh, I count my lucky stars and I thank God every single day that he brought us together. And my dad had something to do with that too. So thank you, dad. Love you too. Um, Michelle said, oh, noise. Oh, baby. Love you. Hey, Joe. Hope you're online. Hello to you two beautiful girls. Hope you guys are all there watching me and laughing at me, laughing at my bald head. Um, hi, guys. And I oh, can't wait to taste your lamingtons. Can't wait to taste them. They, yeah, they're awesome. I love lamingtons. I know you said you weren't going to put jam in them, but what I'm going to do when I get them, I'm going to cut them and I'm going to put jam in it myself. Mwah. So thank you very much. Uh, you miss oh, you miss us too. We miss you, Shani. We really do, mate. Give us a call. Give us a FaceTime so we can see your face, you know. Hey, Tiana, you too. Shout out to Tiana. How you doing, sweetie? Hope you're doing well. Um, Damo, call me tomorrow. Sweet, dude. If uh, I probably take it that that means you've, you've got to get going. Thanks for joining me, man. Um, yeah, look, give me a call tomorrow and we'll um, we'll try and hook this thing up where you can come. You can be here on this side of the screen and I'll be on that side of the screen. Whatever, yeah, whatever. I'll be here and you be there. Sweet, and we'll talk it out. Sweet, man. Um, Chantel, love seeing my face. Really? My sweaty face? Love you too, mate. Miss you. Miss you very much. James Wallace, DJ Death needs needs a slot for more. Yeah, Deethy, you've gone quiet, mate. Where are you, dude? I need, a, I need something from you. And you know what I haven't heard from yet either? Is my friend Thirsty and Jay. Where are you going? Where are you at? Where are you at? Huh? Where are you at? Hit me up. It's your turn, yeah. I know it's hard, Shani. Yeah, it is hard to, you know, not, you know. But as I said to you last week, um, just because we can't physically be together, you know, in the same room or even outside together, guys, don't don't forget that we do have things like this and you know, I'm just as I'm more to blame as well you know but we there are ways that we can we can still stay in contact with each other you know what I mean so reach out as I was saying last week reach out to each other if you haven't spoken to someone in a long time like Shani let's reach out let's make more of an effort you know what I mean let's especially in times like this we need to sort of reach out and just check on each other see how we're all doing you know what I mean and check on each other's mental health you know because it's very important guys to stay in contact with each other and I don't know about you guys, but you know when I do when I do uh, pick up the phone and speak to someone like my one of my best mates, Jay, um, you know any of any of you guys, any of you people that are my best friends, uh, when I when I hear your voice, you lift me up. You know, no matter how I'm feeling five ten minutes before that phone call, after that phone call, I'm in a different place. I just feel so elated and so happy. You know what I mean and so, yeah, I, I urge you all to just, if, you, if there's that special person in your life or that friend that you haven't spoken to in a long time, pick this up, dial the number and say, hey, how you doing, mate? I'm telling you, it'll make you feel so much better. Um, just that, you know, touch your heartstrings and clutch at your heartstrings just to even just to check in. You know, and, you know, who knows, maybe they're not doing so great and hearing your voice may lift them up. So do it, guys. Give them a call. 
James Wallace, no, nah, no sarcasm. You love watching the kids learn and figure out things. Dude, that's awesome, man. That is so good. I mean, that you know, these poor kids, we don't know how long this is going on for. You know, this this could be for the rest of the year. We don't know. So that's, you know, we've really got to band around these kids and try and give them as much of our attention and as much help as we possibly can because, as, as I said, as, as hard as it is for us being at home, imagine them, these little kids, you know, they go to school every day, they're in the schoolyard with their friends and they get to hang out all the time. That's finished. That's They don't get to do that anymore, you know. So, again, please think about the children. Um, monkey poo. Yeah, been there, monkey poo. So remember that joke from before, what's brown? Hang on. I don't want to I don't want to stuff it up, so I'm going to go back. Oh, it's gone now. But anyway, what was brown? Falls out of a tree, out of a banana tree. Monkey poo. That's Uncle Tim at his absolute best. Love you, mate. Love your work, son. Love you. Love your work. Oh, Anne Marie guessed rotten bananas. Oh, close. Damien guessed it. Monkey turds. Love it. Love it. Love you too, mum. <laughs> uh, monkey butt. Yeah, I love it. Uncle Jeff's online. Hello, Uncle Jeff. How you, hope you're doing well, mate. Hope your family's doing well. Um, yeah, hope you're all, you know, keeping. The same as you possibly can and, you know, keeping away from this ugly virus and staying healthy and all that sort of stuff. So love to you all, guys. Uh, Chantel. Oh, hang on. Go back. Oh, my mum. My mum needs toilet paper. Right. All right. Leave it with me, mum. I'm on the case for you. All right. I'll try and see what I can do for you. I'll go around to 11 suburbs like I did a few weeks ago and try and find you some, some toot paper. Hang in there, Mum. Hang in there. Joanne Ware says, ah, oh, lemmingtons are half done. Come on, Joe. I can't eat half a lemmington. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I love you, Noel. Um, Chantel, so do I. Bloody every time we go to the shops, almost every every day looking for it. Yeah, um, it's, you know. Why, why are people doing it? Like, it's a chest. This virus is a. It affects your lungs. It doesn't affect your back door. So, like, I just. I, if it was a stomach thing, I could understand it. But it's a chest thing. So why are people racing out? Oh, quick! This thing affects your chest. So quick! I need to get all the toilet paper I can. Go figure. The anxiety. See, that's like I said last week. That's the anxiety getting to them. It's the. It's all that you know. The the fear. That, you know, the media got a lot to answer for with all this fear-mongering that they're putting on their TVs. But anyway, yeah. <sighs> Toilet paper? Seriously. Um, anyway. Tiana yelled out, we miss you too. <laughs> hey, Tiana. Miss you too, sweetheart. Are you still here, Damo? Awesome. Don't leave me, man. Don't leave me, brother. Please don't leave me. Stay here with me. Michael Deeth. <sighs> my death brother. My band mate. My bassist. The only bass guitarist I've ever played with. Love you, brother. Mel says hi. Hello, Mel. And a special yell out to hello, Finley. How are you, buddy? Miss you, mate. Uncle Tanny's going to hopefully get down to see you one of these days. And once this terrible, shitty virus is on its way out, I'll come down and see you. And hey, Mel, hope you're doing well too, darling. Hope you keep insane. And hope Michael's not driving you too crazy. Probably is, but, you know, that's Michael and we love him too. So love you too, Def. James Wallace, I'm catching up, guys. I'm slowly catching up. I'm slowly catching up. Make sure you let everyone know Parry gets beat by the Broncos tonight. Oh, is that on the um, oh yeah, the virtual thing that's going on Facebook at the moment? How good is that? All right, so the Broncos beat Parramatta. Sorry, Parra fans, not on top no more. Bugger. It's fake, so relax, all you para fans out there, don't, you know, smash me with all your comments. Plus, you have only the one, two games anyway. But anyway, <clears throat> and it was against the Bulldogs and Titans, so pull it in a bit, eh? Uh, um, yes, Anne Marie, let's let's do another video, um, take video chat on the weekend for sure, because that was a lot of fun having six of us online together at once and all of us trying to talk over top of each other. It's like a family reunion for me. All of us being in the one room and all talking 
The louder you speak, the more you get heard, mate. Whoever talks softest, you don't get heard. So like Maltese, we've got to talk loud, mate. And with your hands too, huh? So yeah, let's do that. Book me in, I'm in. I'm definitely in. Uncle Jeff writes, Jeff Sinclair writes, two weeks ago people were mixing together like nothing has happened with this virus. Yeah, I know. It's a bit, you know, this is the reason why we're in this mess because people aren't listening to the what every, what the authorities are saying. And, you know, as much as it sucks, we're, we're Australian. We all want to be around each other and we all want to, you know, it's the Australian way to hang out with each other. And to do this is very hard for all of us, you know, and, it's, you know, it's one of the hardest times that, you and I or anyone is going to go through in our life, fingers crossed. We never go, have to go through anything like this again. But, guys, it's just for a little time, okay, six months, hopefully. And if it goes for longer, well, it goes for longer, but we're doing it for a reason. We're not doing it to be assholes. Sorry about the swearing. I told, said I wasn't going to swear. Anyway, I need a drink. Hang on. But, yeah, it's only for a short time, all right? Let's just, and the longer we prolong it, the longer we keep doing the wrong thing, the longer this crap is going to drag on, right? So if we just, like my friend Sushi Mango says, stay home. Didn't swear, but stay home. How hard is it? If you don't need to be out, don't go out. It's simple as that, guys. It's, you know, if we don't start doing it, we're going to be locked up for a lot longer than what we should. So, um, but now I notice everyone is now getting the message. Yeah, it is, and it's, you know, it, as they say, the curve is starting to flatten a little bit, just a little bit, but, you know, it's it's the start, and that's what we needed. We needed to start to flatten this curve. So, guys, well done to everyone who is staying at home. I know it's hard. Trust me, I'm doing it. We're all doing it. It sucks. It's hard, but there's a reason why we're doing it, you know, we're to save each other. You might not have it. You might not feel sick, you know. You might, you might have it. You don't even know, and you're going out, and you're spreading it to other people, you know. So just... For the love of God, just stay home. Like, you know, it's just for a little while, you know, and, and it's, once this is all over and done with, then, my God, I personally will chuck the biggest party. And anyone who knows me knows I know how to throw a party. Any of my high school mates, you know, tanning parties are off the chain. So just wait. Let's just wait this shit out. Sorry, again. <clears throat> so I wasn't going to swear. Let's just wait this out. It's, you know, it'll be worth it. Trust me. We don't need to lose any more of our people. You know, we don't need to lose anyone to this virus. So just wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. Damo, we need to pull together and stay apart. <laughs> That's it, mate. Pull together, but stay apart, mate. That's exactly it. That's, you know, stay together like things like this. This is it. We're all staying together. This is Friday night. Usually we'd all be out doing party, but I wouldn't be. I'm, I'm old. But other people would be out having fun, going to clubs and all this sort of stuff, you know, hanging together. But can't do that now. Right now, we can't do that, all right? But we can do this. And, guys, I don't have to be the only one doing this. You guys can do this as well. If you want to start your own video, go for it, you know. Please do it. If you want to, again, pick up this thing and FaceTime or there's now Zoom or there's, you know, don't do the house party thing because I've heard that that's – this bad, that one, it's you know, not done to that. But yeah, FaceTime, Zoom, whatever, you know, there's heaps of ways we can all stay in contact. Or if you like the old fashioned way, just pick up the old wireless and we can have a chat over the phone. Whatever you want, we can do it that way, all right? Um, oh, my cousin Simon, oh, dude, you've just, my heart just stopped for a second there. Fagoli, oh my god, the Fagoli's getting baked tomorrow. Fagoli, if anyone, it's a, it's a, you know, I'm going to claim it as Maltese, probably not Maltese, but I'm claiming it. It's a Maltese um, Easter dessert. Oh my uh, god. And I'm spewing I'm going to miss out on that now. But Simon, please, man, do me a favour, eat three for me, all right? Please, Auntie Bender, hope you're watching. You make the best for goalie, and I'm so upset I'm not going to get to have that this year. Damn it. Anyway, enjoy, Simon. Have, have, like I said, have three or four or five or six or seven, eight for me, please. Um, I love you, Joe. Big shout-out to you, Joe. Thank you so much for your 
you, Anne Marie, and Lisa for your help last night getting my content to, together tonight. Hopefully, I'll get to say some of it. I've already been on for 45 minutes already. Whew. I can talk, mate. I can talk. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. You guys really helped me last night. I was a bit lost, didn't know really know what to talk about. And, you know, I have got two pages worth of stuff here that I wanted to just quickly hit on that, you know, I think this is, I'm having, I'm enjoying this. Actually, this is fun. Um, I like it. Again, it's about you. It's not about me. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for your help last night, guys. I really appreciate it. Your fantastic ideas. I will get to them eventually. I'll quickly race through them. Um, Uncle Jeff is very busy selling fridges so people can store their extra food. Good work, mate. Thank you very much. On behalf of everyone, we thank you. Um, Emery, back door. Huh? Uh, yeah, with a smiley face. So, mm. Mary Ann. James Wallace says, so am I. Every, you know, people are laughing. Back door. Amelia, my daughter's watching. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Thank you for getting off the internet and paying attention to your dad. Uh, love you, baby girl. Everything I do, we do I do for you and Caleb. So love you very much, kiddo. You're a great, you're a good egg. You're a good egg. Love you very much. Keep up with your schoolwork. Keep up with your schoolwork. Ah, Lizzie, hello, Lizzie, you're back. You came back from last week. Hello, I didn't turn you off from last week. Thank you. Uh, fear makes one irrational. Damn right it does. Again, that monkey, Toby, my Toby. That's the, the fear monger. It, um, it's no good, you know, and we've, we've got to learn to somehow, not somehow, but we can learn to control that fear and those anxieties, again, together by talking things out. There's no point keeping all that fear and, and all the anxiety inside. It, it, it just, it, it's no good for your physical health either, and it's definitely no good for your mental health. Um, so, yeah, talk it out, guys. That's what we're doing here tonight. Talk it out. If you've got anything... Anything that you, you know, again, like Lizzie just said, you know, if you've got any any fears or anything that you want to have a chat about, let's do it. Talk it out. There's no point keeping it in for yourself. Don't be a hog. Don't hog all your fears, mate. Let it out. Let's share it. Share your fears. Don't hog them. All right? Don't keep them all for you. It's not fair. Share it. Share it with me. I'll take it on. I don't care. Yeah, Michelle. Yeah, I can't spill it, mate. Oh, fagoli, fagoli, fagoli. Jeff. I, I think people are scared of running out of toilet paper if we go into lockdown. Yeah, but that's no excuse to be, you know, panic buying and carrying on like that. And as I said last week about it, those people that are panic buying, do they think that they're the only ones that are going through this? No, we're all going through it. So why, what gives them the right to go and take all the toilet paper for themselves and not share with the rest of us? You know what I mean? Because then... The rest of us that don't have toilet paper, that adds to our stress and anxieties. And that's not fair. Do unto others as you would want to do unto them to do to you. Don't don't go out and buy, you know, four or five packets of toilet paper. What's the point of that? You know, if everyone just went and bought, like normal, one eight pack or one four pack or even a 12 pack, just one, then there'd be more for the rest of us. And then the next time you come back, there'll still be more there. So we've just got to think and stop being so selfish, I think, guys, with the toilet paper. Because, um, again, I went, I've went. i been going every day this week just checking in just to see if there's any toilet paper. And they've replaced the toilet paper aisle with uh, chocolate bunnies. Can't wipe your butt with a chocolate bunny. Well, you could, but it would be pretty damn messy. So come on. Think. You're, you're not in this on your own. We're all going through this together. So think about others, please, guys. If you are, if you know of anyone that's out there hoarding all the toilet paper, my poor mum's struggling. She needs some toilet paper. Share the toilet paper. My mum needs toilet paper. I need, I'm going to need toilet paper soon again. I'm all right for now, but, yeah, come on. Share it around, eh? Oh, James, oh, no, it's an old game, is it? Oh, well, dude, I'm telling you, don't worry about that. I'm over watching those old games. I don't want to live in the past. But there's on Facebook now, There's um, they're having virtual games every week of the games that should be played this week. They're actually playing. It's like a, through a PlayStation 4 simulation. Uh, it is awesome. 
check them out over the weekend, mate. Every game that's supposed to be played this weekend will be played online on this PlayStation format. It's so, you know, I, I find it cool. Um, hey, wants to say hello. Oh, my son's just come in. He wants to say hello. Hello. Come in a bit, champ. Come in a bit closer. There you can say, hang on, see the camera. Look up here. There's a camera there. Hi. Is that all you want to say? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> uh, awesome, man. You watching me downstairs? Oh, yeah, I was. You was? Oh, sweet. Awesome. Oh, look, sweat's going there. Woo! Yep, yep. Running hot, running hot up here. So that was my boy, Caleb. I just wanted to say hello. So, hello from Caleb. Um, Joe, you coming to my party? Yep, sweet, cool. I throw a good party, Joe. Trust me. Well, I used to. I haven't thrown one for a while, but. And if Kirsty's online, she's still not. She still hasn't messaged me at all. When Kirsty and I get together to organise a party at Kane Harrison's place, look out. It was awesome. It was really awesome. Uh, Lizzie's just sent me a private message. Uh, I might not. Yeah. Do you want me to? Oh, you know. She's at Parramatta right now at her local Woolies. Shop replenished on Wednesday nights. So suggest to your mum to go on a Thursday early morning. I'll do that. I will do that. She's got a pension card, so she'll be able to. Oh, she I shouldn't have told her how old she is. Love you, mum. Um, but, yeah, we'll sort you out with the toilet paper, mum. Thank you very much for that, Lizzie. Th again, see, friends helping friends. That's how we're all going to get through these guys together. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Lizzie. Really appreciate that. Mum, do you hear that? Let's go early Thursday morning. <sighs> Michael Deeth, I cannot agree with you more. But once all this crap's finished, he has hashtag, hashtag reopen Wonderland. Hells yeah, man. How much fun did we have on a Saturday night down there at Wonderland, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Deethy, love it, brother. Love it. Keep him coming. Hello. Oh, now Amelia <laughs> wants to come in and say hello. <laughs> Quickly come in and say hello. Hello. <laughs> This is my beautiful daughter, Amelia. So, <laughs> you're too shy to be on camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here. All right, okay. You can, she's just going to be here over here, all right? Um, yeah. Emery, God, the voices. I keep, I keep running out of context with your with your. Oh, thing, she but... means like the... Like the... Oh, my voices. Yeah. Oh, my voice. Uh, my, your voices. My Gaelic, the voices, mate. Well, I learned from the best, mate. My, as I said last week, my uncle Tim is a voiceover artist, and you know I used to go to a lot of jobs with him when I was a kid. And you know, when you're around that stuff, you pick things up and just kept running with it. I'd love to be a voiceover artist, but I, I struggle reading and that. So you know, that's my. That's I reckon that's the only thing that stopped me because well, I struggle from reading and that. So, but yeah, I love I love my voices. Thank you, appreciate that. Uh, Kevin Benici, and the world came together as people stayed apart. That is just so true, man. It really is. You know? And that's, yeah, as sad as it sounds, that's the way we're going to get through this together is by staying apart. It's just for a little while. Again, just for a little while. Don't stress out. This is not going to be the normal. It won't be forever. It's just going to be for a little while. So you can help each other out by staying apart. Again, formats like this. This is how we're going to get through it, okay? So just for a little while. Uh, Jeff, again. Hey, Ryan, a physical hug is so important for so many that it reduces stress. I know, you know, and that's that's another thing that we um, that I was talking to a few people about that, you know, where in times like this, the one thing you really want to do is hug someone um, just to give them that sense of security and that sense of, you know, that everything will be all right. So sweaty armpits and all, I'm sending you all a virtual hug right now, oh, okay, because that's what we need right now. It's, you know, unfortunately, we can't do it physically, but we can do it virtually. Um, so, that, I mean, that is so true. You know, unfortunately, we can't physically touch you anymore, And but... Send a hug. I send virtual hugs to all of you, and I hope you all do the same to everybody else. Hey, Marie, the Maltese mouth. <laughs> you like that, dear? Um, Joe, you're more than welcome. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. Oh, and look at all this one familiar. Hello. Hello, Amelia. You're right Hi. there. Love you, Dad, and I love you too. <laughs> the puppy's like, you're a good one. I'm like, no. Uh, I'll quickly come and take a quick my mum's look at oh. 
comes hi, out of that mum. The camera team. I know. I know. Right? Hi. So she's saying hello, mum. She miss. She's hello. Uh, you know what she's like. She's a bit shy. I don't like cameras. Um. Oh, she wrote "Love You, Mama." I'm still how much. I'm about a couple. You're late. Of, it's still late. A couple of, oh, it's yeah, really, it's couple really of minutes, a couple of minutes behind, but I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Hope you're all still getting any interest out of this. If you're bored, please, you know, hang in there. I've got still got some stuff I wanted, wanted to quickly just cover over. But I'll, this, as I said, this is much more important, guys. This is what we're doing this for is to get that conversation started with each other. Um, Anne Marie, hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry, Mary Ann. Birthday buddy, oh, you see, that is pretty behind, isn't it? So, yeah, that was yeah, Caleb, really and, Caleb and uh, Anne Marie are birthday buddies, so they've got the same birthday. I'd say that's what that is in text reference to. Um, they're, sending, <laughs> they're sending it overseas. <laughs> yeah, all the toilet paper, yeah. Oh, seriously. They're sending our toilet paper overseas because we don't need it. Anyway, that's got to be shut down. I think that is being shut down right now and all the hand sanitizer. When was the last time you saw hand sanitizer in the shop? Seriously. Like Joy, like, wipe your bum with the chocolate bunny. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks, Joe. I'm not going to do that. Not at all. Uh, mum, chocolate bunnies. Love you too, Mum. Hope you're getting the <laughs> enjoyment out of this. Joe, OMG is a mini you, right? He is a mini me, that little Caleb boy. He is a little me, except he's got hair. <laughs> Ripped off, mate. Ripped off, I am. I mean, look at that picture in the background. Look, that, look at that. Look, that Dad, looks so much like Full head of hair. That looks so much like me. Full head of hair. And, look at me. Ripped off. Oh, I'm going to try and catch up. Oh, Carly's online. Hello, Carly. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well, little Bobo. Happy birthday for the other day, little Bobo. Archie, hope you're doing well, buddy, as well. And Luco, hope you're looking after him, mate. Hope you're um, looking after the family, looking after yourself, champ. Um, hope you're all doing well. Miss you, love you. Hope to catch up as soon as all this nonsense is finished. Um, Amelia, oh, I'm catching up now because Amelia's coming to say hi. Well, she's a quick issue. Hi. Um, Anne Marie, I only got to go to Wonderland once before it shut. Oh, Sucks to be you, man, because it was so much fun. We used to have so much fun and get up to so much mischief. I mean, nothing, um, but we had so much fun. Wonderland was the place to be in the 90s and late, late 80s, early 90s was the place to be, mate. It was awesome. And then as we got a bit older too, it was even better. Was, yeah, it was awesome. So, um, Oh, Lisa says, hi, Amelia. How are you doing? Hi. Share the love, Joe says. Yes, definitely, guys. We have to share the love. You know, that's it's the only way we're going to get through things like this, you know, and love is the key, guys, to life in general, basically. Love is the key. It's the only way. I mean, we're all, as I said, we're all here together. We're all going through life together. No one knows the meaning of life. No one knows why we're here. We're all in it together. So let's just share the love around, you know, and help each other out. Instead of life's not a competition, dudes and dudettes. It's really not a competition. We're here for a reason. Um, so until we figure that out, let's just love each other. L-E, what is it? L, no, E-L-E. E anyone know what that movie's from? E-L-E? Comment if you know what that, that reference is from. E-L-E. Sure, I'm sure if Michael Deef's on now, I'm sure he's going to know. ELE, let's just do it. ELE. And Ray J wants me to share my poo paper with <sighs> What else have we got here? Physical hugs, release. Yes. yes. I know, she's this, she'll start. They do, yeah. Lizzie, they really do release you know, that word that I can't say. Wait. Oh. Um, oh, Lisa, she used to go to Wonderland nearly every weekend. How good was it? Did you have a Wonder Pass? Remember the Wonder Passes? Oh, man, how good were the Wonder Passes? So it was like 40 bucks for the year or something like that, and you could go as many times as you want all year for 40 bucks. That was just gold. They were so good. They really were awesome. Um, Anne-Marie writes, Jay wants me to share my poo paper hoarding. Are you hoarding toilet paper, Marianne? If so, 
Oh, you're too far away from me. You're in Sydney. I can't come all the way down there for toilet paper. But if I get desperate, I'll be coming for you. Um, yeah, Lucy told me about Vidalvo. She'll be coming there. Oh, she, yeah. So that'll be awesome for you, you two ladies we to hook up. We can have sleepovers when the coronavirus is gone. Yes, yes, you can. can yeah, this is really house. weird. Why don't you just come on camera? Like, I don't like it. So what? I don't like it. Like they everything. want to do talking to you. I don't like it. Okay, I'll keep my hair. No. Oh my God. <laughs> um, Michael Deeth. Write me a yeah, James Wallace, are you still on, champ? I hope you're still write on. Write me a song, James. Deethy says, write me a song. Um, for those that don't know, I used to be in a band with um, Michael, um, James, um, my good mate Leo, and my awesome sister Emily. Uh, they used to share the, the singing duties. Uh, well, there was two different bands, but anyway. Um, and my good mate, Bert Dixon, I miss you, brother. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're looking after yourself and your mental health too, champion. Uh, yeah, we used to be in an awesome band <laughs> called Dirty Nice. Get on and have a look on our website, on our uh, Facebook page, guys, if you ever, if you want to, got nothing else to do and you want to check out some awesome music. Uh, we, were, we were pretty good. We were, were. we were pretty good. Yeah, you were. Yeah, we were. I used good. to stay up all night because hearing you guys like we were pretty pretty good um yeah but james if you're still on man deethy says he wants you to write him a song so come on james uh what was it deethy bird on a river's edge come on james write us another one write us another chair like that man we love that and you wrote one of the best songs that we ever did that for some reason we stopped playing towards the end change Oh, if you ever, if you can find a, a version of the song that we used to play called Change, they're all originals, by the way, we, you know, we're an original band. Um, yeah, there was a song that he wrote. Yeah, I am talking myself up. Thank you very much, Anne-Marie. <laughs> I will, I will talk myself up. We were awesome. They were. I was awesome. And, you know, I was awesome. They were awesome. Um, but, yeah, so, whoop, just move the screen then. Um, but, yeah, so if you check them out, check us out, Dirty Nice on Facebook. We we're awesome. Um, all right, I think I've basically caught up now. So what I'll do is quickly, I'll just quickly, um, now that I've caught up again, I'll see a bit. what I want to do is just quickly just touch on a few things that I wanted to, uh, that my friends have helped me sort of outline tonight that I wanted to talk about. Um, exercise is very important, guys, at the moment. Exercise. Um, we need to sort of, even though we're all cooped up at home, play some dirty nice next week. You know what? I'm gonna, while we're on next week, I'm gonna play Dirty Nice in the background and I'll let you see and I'll let you hear it. I can so, play it now. No, I don't play it now, it's all right. No, don't play it now, Amelia. <laughs> don't play it now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, okay. don't play it now. Um, or maybe we'll listen to one song on the way out, maybe. Just check and see if I have got some. Or maybe I've deleted it. It's there. Um, <laughs> is it? So anyway, um, yeah, exercise is very important, guys, at the moment, um, not only for your physical health, but again, up here, the mental health side of things. Uh, it'll take your mind off, you know, it releases endorphins again and you know, releases stress and helps with that anxiety as well. So my friend Joe, shout out Joe. Like a shout out Joe. Sweet. Uh, you said to me to say it loud last night, so there it is. Um, my friend Joe recommends a lady called, well, here we go, Joe. Leslie Sansone or Sansoni, Sansone. I'll spell the name for you. So if you want to check it out, Leslie S Sansone, S A N S O N E, Sansoni, Sansone. Um, check her out on YouTube. She's got plenty of videos um, that keep your body moving um, and things like that, and they're really good for you. She, you know, swears by it. So if she swears by it, I'm going with it. Um, so yeah, her name's. Leslie Sansoni, she's got plenty of videos on YouTube, so check that out. As Again, again it's good for your mental, uh, mental fitness as well. Uh, releases that uh, anxiety and those fears and releases the endorphins and just makes you feel good again, you know what I mean? And we need that at the moment. Um, oh, I'm not going to talk about that. Yeah. Uh, but meditation, again, uh, I'll touch on that from last week. A bit of meditation is awesome, guys, especially at times like this as well, and it helps release the... Um, stress and the fears and the anxiety, all that sort of stuff. So 10 minutes a day, plenty of YouTube videos online, plenty of guided videos that will actually help you guide guide you through 
they'll actually have a little voice telling you, okay, this is what's going to happen now and then you will breathe and then you get to the next part and then this is what happens now. So get on them. There's so many of them. My cousin last week wrote, um, hang on, my cousin Kevin's just written, anyone selling <laughs> bench presses? Everyone is sold out. If you're selling a bench press, get in contact with me, please. Let me know if you're selling a bench press so I can let him know. So, yeah, if anyone has got selling a bench press or any kind of fitness equipment, let me know and I'll let my cousin know. Always looking out for you, cuz. Um, Damien, you're going to bed, brother. Thank you so much, mate. Um, thank you for you know, hanging in there with me tonight. I know I've gone over time, but um, thank you so much. I appreciate you hanging in there with me tonight and I hope you've got a little bit of – Little bit of knowledge, you've had a little couple of laughs, had a drink. Mm-hmm. Love you, brother. Right. Speak to you soon. Hey, give me a call. And you're on here in a couple of weeks. As soon as I figure this out, you'll be on here, all right? So, yeah, we can all look forward to that. Instead of seeing this ugly mug, you'll see another ugly mug on the TV next to me. So, love you, Damo. <laughs> see you, mate. Um, yeah, so again, meditation um, 10 minutes a day, simple as that 24 hours in a day, 10 minutes of it. Dedicated to meditation, and we will really help you and take you to you know, take your mind off things, and it will really that Zen. Um, stop that! It's the Zen. It'll really help you center yourself and center your thoughts, and um, and it'll help again with Toby up here. You know you, the noise up here. Um, Bye, another thing I want to reach. Uh, you know, Joe. you going, oh, no, Joe's, Joe's going too. Bye, Joe. Love you, Joe. Yeah, it's, it is well past your bedtime, Joe. Um, thank you for hanging out with me for this long. Really appreciate it. Sorry, guys, if I'm going on for too long. If you want to go, you can go, but I'm gonna, just going to keep talking because, as I said, my friends and I put a lot of effort into writing all this stuff out last night, so I, I think I feel like I owe it to them to get all this out. So, um, Joe, you can check the rest out tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, thanks very much. Good night. Love you very much. Can't wait to taste those Lamingtons either. Um, another point. Uh, reach out, I've said this before, reach out to those guys, reach out to those people that we haven't spoken to in a while. Um, they need your help. You know, that, that are, that's, those three simple words, are you okay, um, can really change someone's life. It really, really can. Um, you don't know what it can do and it will really, really help you. Um, yeah, demo. Um, so, yeah, reach out. Just if you haven't spoken to someone, even, even if it's been a couple of weeks, if it's been a couple of months, definitely reach out. It's so even been a couple of weeks, a couple of days, just reach out again, you know, just reach out and just say, how are you doing? You know, and like I said before, just that when I speak to my mates, it really um, <laughs> it just uplifts me, you know what I mean? It really, you know, whatever, whatever I'm feeling, whatever the stresses I've got, whatever hang-ups I have, after I've gotten off the phone and had a good a good chat too, you know, like real talk about real things, you know what I mean? How are you really doing and things like that, that can really help you, you um, know, Take away your own problems, you know what I mean. So and it, you know, and it's taken away their problems as well. So um, reach out, definitely. Um, another thing I just wanted to say, I saw a great meme on Facebook uh, yesterday. I put it, I actually posted it. Um, it says, "Mental health is not like a light switch that you can turn on and off. Um, it's a dial that you and only you can learn how to manage." And that's so true. You know, it's mental health. You know, if, if it was, if anxiety was a switch that we could just turn off, there wouldn't be anxiety. There wouldn't be depression. There wouldn't exactly. be any of that. There you know what I mean? Be. So, yes. Yeah, if you had humans. a choice to be happy, you'd pick happy. That's it's exactly. not a choice to be depressed. It's really not. It sucks. If that 13-year-old gets it, <laughs> it really you should sucks. get it too, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's not a light switch. It's a it's a dial that we can, you know, that we can we can control it. We, we just have to learn how to do it, okay? And again, I'm not, I'm not saying I've, I've got all the answers, and but I've just, I'm learning how to deal with my own things, and I'm hoping in turn that you guys will learn how to deal with your own dial. You know what I mean? So don't give up. There's no point giving up, guys. Okay? So we're all in this together. So if you need help, again, reach out. Okay? All those numbers I gave it to you at the start, they're there, they're there to help you. Okay? I'm here to help you. People that have been Messaging will help you, okay? So reach out. There's plenty of help out there. we just got to work on that dial, okay? <laughs> Hi, Tiana. Um, and thank you, Marie. I'm just reading. You're Come reading? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a few more things, guys, and then I'll wrap this up. Um, oh, we've already hit that. How's everyone dealing at home with the kids? Yep. We've dealt with that. That's awesome. 
Um, again, keep your eye on the kids, guys, um, you know, because they are they're struggling as well. It's not just us. I know we're trying to Me. shelter them um, f- away from all this coronavirus nonsense, but you know they they're not stupid. They know what's going on, and they can sense our stresses and our fears too. So just check in on them every now and again. All right. Um, I know this one struggles a bit sometimes, oh, so um, you know you've got got to reach out and you know look after them. Again, kids helpline, Headspace, they're there for kids. Okay, so check them out. Um, uh, again, uh, this is a pretty sad one. A shout out to all those people that have lost their job recently with all everything that's going on. My heart goes out to you guys, but again, you especially, please don't give up. Okay, this is only temporary. All right, it's not forever. Okay, things will change, things will come back around, I promise you, okay. But my, again, my heart just goes out to you and um, hang in there, okay. Reach out, you know, please don't sit there and, and deal with it on your own and think, oh, no, no, I'll be, I'll be okay. Just reach out, reach out, tell someone your, your troubles, tell them what you're going through, tell them how you feel, okay. It will make you feel better, all right, I'm telling you now. So please reach out, please don't deal with those that loss on your own because it sucks. What, what you're going through now really sucks, and um, you know I don't, uh, I don't know what else to say about that. But please just reach out. You know, if anyone I know on here is has lost their job, please don't suffer in silence. Reach out, you know, and just talk about it. I know it, it might not bring your job back, you know, but it will make you feel just that little bit better. Is what you, you deserve. You deserve to feel a little bit better right now with everything that's going on. So. My heart goes out to you, and I hope that you're doing well, you're coping well. Um, and just a shout out to, I hope they're still online. They're probably not. They're probably gone, but maybe they'll catch this video tomorrow. Um, my my good mates who are all in the construction industry, um, you guys are awesome. You know, you you got you, you guys are one of the one of the industries, if not the main industry right now, that's keeping our economy going. Um, you poor buggers are working your asses off, um, you know, 12 hour minimum days. Now I've heard that the government want you to work seven days a week and public holidays. So guys, yes. again, my hat goes off to you and especially one of my good mates, Kane Harrison. Um, dude, you are a workhorse, you always have and you are one of my go-to people when I'm down, when I'm down and out. You are one of those people that can just take me to a better place uh, with your words. And I know you're struggling right now too, dude, but um, a shout out to you and all your workers there. At, um, Kane's got his own business, Evolve Construction, Evolving Construction. They do fantastic work. He's won so many awards for his, um, his architecture and things like that. He's just, he's unbelievable. So if you haven't had any building, maybe give him a bit of a rest at the moment. But once all this is finished, Evolving Construction, uh, some of the best builders are going around. And Kane Harrison, I salute you, my brother. I love you very much, brother. Um, I hope you're doing well, man. And um, happy birthday for yesterday too, by the way, Shelby. Um, and that's another thing I wanted to say too. Uh, shout out to all those people that have that have and are going to have birthdays in isolation. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be one of them in a couple of weeks or next month. Um, you know, and just – and it sucks, you know, for all those people that have ha- having birthdays and they can't celebrate the way they used to, and um, you know that really sucks. And I, my heart yeah, goes my out to you. But like I said, once this is all said and done, we're all going to have a massive party for everyone's birthday, so it's all good, okay? But yeah, if you're having a birthday now or you have had a birthday in isolation, you're gonna have one. Um, try and have a good day as best as you can. Um, and again, if you know someone who's going to have a birthday. Pick this thing up, dial their number, and make their day. Okay, just reach out to them and say happy, but you know, and not just a phone call. Let them see your face. You know what I mean? Let them know that you care. Okay, because normally we'd be there partying with them um, and celebrating with them, but obviously we can't right now. So just do that little reach out for me, guys. Okay, and for them. Um, okay, I've got to the bottom here, and it says, make sure you thank everyone for watching. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really love it. Um, I love spending this time with you guys. Um, again, seems to be that you all are enjoying it. Uh, oh, hang on. Special yeah, um, shout-out to my beautiful mama, Shirley. 
happy 90th birthday, love. We're supposed to have your birthday party tomorrow. There you go, hence what I was just talking about. Um, we're supposed to be celebrating my grandmother's 90th birthday tomorrow, and that got cancelled because of this COVID-19. This bloody crap. All right, so I love you very much, Mama. Come and quickly just say hello to Mama, please. Hi. Come on, please say hello to Mama. We love you, Mama. I hope you're doing well. Um, and have a have as good a birthday as you possibly can, you beautiful lady. I love you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you. Ninety kisses coming your way. Ninety hugs. <laughs> love you so much. Hopefully, me. Um, birthday, yeah. I'll say all right. So I've basically said everything I wanted to do except for my little my sign off. But I'll leave that for there. I'll leave that for now. I'll just quickly go back. If you, you know, if you guys are still sending in uh, comments, I may as well keep reading them. Um, says, where are we going? We're going back up to here. Bye. Bye. Ben Schultz, Schultz, hang on, hang on. We'll just sorry, dude. I'll get back to you. We'll just go a bit further. Um, my cousin, cheers, cuz. Oh, that's for the yeah. So again, if you know anyone who's selling a bench press or any kind of uh, fitness equipment, hit me up so I can hit him up. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, cuz. Love you, man. Go the Tigers. <laughs> um, don't stress, Ryan. I'm not stressing me. Am I? Was I stressed? No. Nah. Got me. I've got my beautiful girl here. I'm not stressing. Um, yes, my beautiful assistant right here. Yep. Hopefully, I'll get if she wants to come on next week. Maybe she'll, mm. maybe she'll show her face. Yeah. She's not a dentist, so you can her. see her face. Okay. So she's. If anyone gets that reference, I just you're as don't old as me. have confidence. Um, ben Schultz, Ryan, I've been asked today how empty your how to empty your thoughts. Meditation is powerful. However, it can't switch off it actually, and it's just an opportunity to. Open. Well, yeah. Look, again, man. Yes and no. Um, meditation. Again, if you just meditate once once a week, it's probably not going to do much for you. Um, I mean, it, for that day you'll feel great, and then the next day, again, the noises will come back. The the monkey will be bouncing from side to side because, you know, you sort of took him away for a day and then or for a little bit of time and then you've you've let it, you've released him out again. So, yeah, I, I do agree with that, that it, um, it, it is powerful and, and it, but again, yeah, if you don't, if you're not doing it to, to really quiet that noise down, you should really be trying to do it at least every day. Um, if you can, I know it's hard and I know, and again, I know it's hard. Not everyone can meditate. Okay, it is really difficult. It took me a long time. I still have days where I, I still can't, you know, completely get it. Um, but it's worth it's worth trying, you know. And all I can say to you, dude, is keep trying it. Um, um, and again, keep talking things out as well. It's not just the meditation. Meditation won't sort you out completely. It's it's a combination. It's a combination of the meditation. It's a combination of talking things out um, and find just finding. And we're all different too, dude. Every one of us are different, you know. So what works for me is might might work for you, but it might not. Um, so again, it's a journey, you know, that we're all taking together. Um, so uh, whatever helps me, I'm going to try and express to you guys. Um, but then again, it might not work for you. So but then again, you might find something that works for you. So just keep, don't give up on it, man. You know what I mean? And it's uh, again, meditation is not easy. I I I, I probably. Um, recommend that if you haven't really meditated properly that you should um, get online to those youtube um, videos the guided meditations it's really hard to do it on your own unless you've done it met multiple times and you've really reached that that's that place that place that we're supposed to get where it completely empties out your mind um it's really hard so uh, get onto those um youtube videos with the guided meditations and again Give it more than one chance. You know what I mean. A lot of people get frustrated with it. Oh, it didn't work. No, that's that's crap. Well, nothing's going to work first time. You know what I mean. So you've just got to keep at it, dude. It's like riding a bike, mate. You've just got to keep going, keep moving with it. Some days you fall off, some days you don't. Um, just keep at it, dude. And I promise you. And you know, talk to people, man. Talk talking really helps as well. You know what I mean. So, um, but again, you know, doing it, doing just meditation on your on its own won't, won't fix the problem. It's a combination of things, and it's it's, it's a like I said, dude. It's a, it's a dial. You know what I mean? It's um, there's no there's not one cure. 
if there was one cure, there wouldn't be such things as anxiety, there wouldn't be depression, there wouldn't be any of the noise in your head. Um, we're all learning, you know, I'm still learning, you know what I mean? Um, just because I'm doing this TAFE course doesn't mean I know everything and just because the psychologists are out there, they've gone to uni and they've gone to all these sorts of things, they don't know everything either, okay? So it's, it, it's a journey, man. I'm sorry, dude, it's not a sprint. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon and we're all in it together. So, you know, if I can if I can help you in any other way, please hit me up. Um, but, yeah, that's that's probably the, I hope I've answered your question there. Uh, just keep at it, brother. Just keep at it and, you know, you, you will you will eventually get there. If, if you want it to happen and you put in the time, you put in the effort, it will happen. Um, but, again, don't just rely um, on the meditation to, to solve everything because, yeah, we've got to learn how to – Control that monkey, that little Toby bugger, okay? That's that's the key, all right? Um, and, again, I haven't, you know, I still have my days. He still runs right up there some days, most days. Um, but it's learning how to tone him down a little bit. Okay, he's always going to be there, never going to get rid of it. It's just learning how to, at the moment, especially with what's going on at the moment, the volume up there is turned to absolute max, it's he's controlling us. They are them, whatever. They're all they can. That monkey's controlling us at the moment, and we, it's just we've got to find that way of just sort of turning that knob from max slightly down. You know what I mean? To so we can barely hear him. We're still going to hear him, but we have to get in control. So I hope I know that's a bit of rambling on, um, but I hope that sort of answered your question there, brother. Um, and love you, man. I miss you. Uh, I miss your face. Hope your kids are doing well. Um, hope your missus is doing well. And I really hope you're doing well, man, because we haven't seen each other in a long time. Um, and I love you very much, dude, and I miss you. Whew, that was a big one. Thank you. See, and that's, they're the kinds of things. That, that's awesome, Schultzy. Thank you so much, man. Um, well, we're getting up to an hour and a half now, so I better hurry up and wrap this up. Um, what else have we got? She's a smart cookie. I was gonna say like that. I was gonna say like if... might, yeah, this one. She is a smart cookie. <laughs> um, She's okay. smarter than she gives herself credit for. That's for sure. I was gonna Most say kids are. Most it's kids not are. a choice to be different. No, it's not. And it, exactly, and it's, yeah. a, it's it's a choice to not talk about it. I'm guilty of it. Like I don't talk about it because it's hard for me. But if you had a choice of either being happy or depressed, you pick happy. Some people don't like me talking about depression, but I can't help it. Like, I can't be happy. Like, I haven't been happy in ages. But, like, you know. It's that's like, very sad for me to hear that. Yeah. But, um, but unfortunately, <laughs> that's. Oh, I, I've been told to have a shout out to Marie. Hi, Marie. You're oh. watching. How you going? Sorry, you're just about catching us at the end here, but you, you know, you can always go back and watch from the start. This is a long one tonight. I've gone way over time but it's um been really enjoyable tonight guys i've really enjoyed it so hi marie hope you have hope you're well hope you're doing good in your new place hope it's awesome oh sorry um so yeah hi marie um uh, let's keep going here quickly um oh lizzie um Shilty, if you want to read this one lizzie's really good at um at meditation she she was actually one of the people that started getting in my head about meditation and how to help myself so she says here one method is to close your eyes and listen to your breathing definitely that's what i touched on last week it's all about your breathing okay and when we're doing the meditation it's it's so easy to get you know what i'm going to do next week i'm going to talk mostly about meditation i think um yeah because I mean, it is it's 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 main it's predominantly about your breathing okay and listening and feeling the breath and being aware, being aware of your surroundings. But it's when those th when you're trying to meditate and you're concentrating on your breathing, you've got thoughts that come into your head, you know, thoughts that of anything, you know, any anxiety or oh, I've got to, I've got to do, I've got to do this when I get when I'm finish this and oh that thing's broken, I've got to fix that and oh the kids are doing this and oh, I've got to do this thing at work and oh, I've got to do that. all those thoughts come in and they're, they're distractions. Okay, that's the monkey throwing things at you because the monkey doesn't really want us to be nice and calm. Right? He wants us confused all the time. So he's going to constantly throw things at you all the time, throw, trying to put you off your game. But what you've got to do when that does happen, you've got to realise when the way I do it when meditating, 
it's like clouds, clouds outside, right? Clouds come, and then they go, okay? And that's the way we've got to think about all those thoughts in our head. They're clouds. Acknowledge them. Don't ignore them, okay? Because if you ignore them, they're just going to stay there and they'll get louder and louder and louder and louder and louder. Acknowledge what those thoughts that come into your mind and then envision just like a cloud, it's blowing away, okay? And then once, in, once you do that, bring yourself back to your breathing. Focus on your breathing, the in and the out, okay? Three seconds in, three seconds out. If you can do four seconds, they actually say, if you can do four seconds in and four seconds out, that's when you're really listening and, and really controlling that breath. But again, don't, you know, you don't want to, it's not about, you know, you can't do that because you'll pass out, you know what I mean? So it's, don't change your breathing pattern too much. But it's all about breathing, dude, and that's where it starts and that's where it will finish. It's your breathing. When you do lose your train of thought, when you're too many thoughts coming in, let them go to bring yourself back. Just you you um, envision that, you know, you, you, your chest enlarging and then decompressing. You know what I mean? So you, envisioning your breath, your breathing, you know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. It's envisioning that breathing and coming back to your breath. That's so important. Like I said, I'm probably talking nonsense, but get on to these guided meditation um, things on YouTube. Really do some research about it, guys, because it it's really beneficial. So I can't talk it up anymore. You know, meditation has really helped change my life. So um, not to say that it will change yours, but it, there's a chance. So why not give it a go? You know what I mean? So do some research into that. So thank you, Lizzie. Really, really appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, Shannon, my mum, she says, Ben, I agree. It's not easy, but the longer you try, the easier it gets. Don't feel bad when the thoughts pop into your head. Just to, there you go. Just basically what I said. Um, go to the happy place and return. Exactly. So just when those thoughts come in, just focus, bring yourself back to your breathing, okay, and envision what, envision what you want to envision. You know what I mean? If you want to be in a field, of, of daisies or whatever you want to be somewhere envision that's where you're going you got to have an you got to have an idea of what you want to what you want to achieve out of, out of your meditation session and where you want to go in your mind's eye will take you there um but you've really got to yeah it, it's again it's it's one of the hardest things i've ever had to do is to learn how to meditate and again i'm not you know i'm not as i'm not a meditation master i still struggle with it um but the days that it does work for me there's nothing better, man. Nothing better. You wake up and you feel like you're like 20 kilos lighter. You feel like you don't even walk out of the room. You float out of the room. And for the rest of the day, you just you feel like you're sitting on a fluffy cloud and it's, you know. But then again, you wake up the next day and boom, everything's back. So you do it again. Uh, it's just, that's it. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon, dude. So good luck with it. Good luck with, to any of you that are trying it. Um, don't give up on it, please. I know it's, I just said it's hard. It's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it all the time, and it's not. So it's anything that's hard is worth doing, okay? So keep at it, guys. You can do it. We can do this together, together. Um, sure, great idea. Talk about my wife. Talk about Caleb is writing a journal. And there's another good thing, yeah. Caleb, my son Caleb is writing a journal for school and how they're getting through their time at home. That's another good way to sort of relieve the stress and relieve the pressure. And also, it, um, it, it'd be awesome saying about, you know, five, ten years' time to look back at that journal of what we've been going through right now because, you know, I hope to God nothing like this is ever going to happen again. What we're, we're living through some very extreme unprecedented times and you know it's going to be something that we're going to look back on and go wow we actually lived through that you know what i mean so yeah there's another good thing have a daily journal of what's happened to you every day how you feel and what's happening uh, the new lockout law the lockdown laws and everything you know what i mean write it all down because it will help you again that's another form of helping you get things like out off your chest instead of don't be a hog don't keep all that stuff in let it out you know write it out write it out talk it out However you've got to get it out, get it out, okay? That's a great idea, Shell. Awesome. So that's now that's in text to my um, cousin here, Marley. Hey, how you going, beautiful? Hope you're doing well. Um, great idea. It is a great idea. 
So I encourage you all to do that, to you know, do that, things like that. Write it down. Keep a journal. Um, oh, he's still going. <laughs> he must be. He must be enjoying this. Hour and a half now. He must be enjoying it. I thought you would all be gone by now. Um, hang on, put this up. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going with these things. You know, I've got nothing else to do. I've got nowhere else to be. If you, if you, if you want to get it, you know, <laughs> love, love you, love you. Bye, bye, bye Millie. Bye. See you, Mill. Oh, I'll put the chat back. Thank you. Um, yeah. So if you're happy, I'll just keep going until until there's no one left. I will keep speaking because I love looking at myself. No, no. I love helping guys. I love. Helping guys. Um, where are we going? Hang on. Oh, hang on. I went back up. Uh, Gilbert, if you're still there, happy thirtieth, dude. It's gonna suck having it in isolation, brother. But happy thirtieth. I'm gonna try. I'll try and give you a call on here, and I'll give you a birthday celebration on your birthday. So Anne Marie, let me know the day of his birthday, and I'll um, I'll call out. Um, Michelle writes here, oh, hang on, I've skipped a bit, but I'll come back up to that in a sec. Um, lucky I'm not celebrating my 40th this year. Yes, thank God for that. One more year. Hopefully we're not still in lockdown next year. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I'll be 40 next year, guys. <laughs> anyway, thanks for bringing that up, Shell. Really appreciate it. Um, ben. It's finding that happy place when you've hit rock bottom. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, that's it. It's, you know, and I'm all about prevention before we get to that rock bottom because, you know, getting getting off that rock bottom is very hard, you know, and I've, again, speaking from experience, I've been pretty, pretty, pretty low um, in my life and um, I've just been lucky to have some awesome people around me to help me drag my carcass off that rock bottom um and i'm sure you do too brother um but you know yeah, it is tough so i'm all about the prevention before we get to that stage you know what i mean so um even though it was too late for me but now i'm now that i'm back on my feet and i'm moving forward um i'm all about preventing people from getting to that stage because uh, it sucks and it's hard you know the, the, the further down in that hole you are something's bipping at me here um, the further down in that hole you are, the harder it is, you know. But, again, if you are down there, you know, there's always a hand that's willing to pull you out, you know what I mean? And there's always. Or don't, don't ever think that, oh, this is it, this is as good as it's going to get because if you, if, you, if you think that way, unfortunately, it, you'll be down there longer. So there's always, there's always someone there that is willing to help and I'm, the, I'm one of those people. There are many, all these people that are commenting tonight are these people. Um, so just reach out, dude. Okay, don't suffer in silence, man. And that's the one thing I can impart tonight is don't suffer in silence, please. Okay, I love you, dude. And if you are struggling, reach out. Reach out. That's all I can. If any of you are struggling, please reach out, okay. There's, I gave you all those numbers at the start. Um, you know, if you, if you don't have someone close to you that you feel that could help you, then there are people out there qualified to help you. Um, so, yeah, don't don't struggle on your own, okay? Um, cousin, now, yeah, I'm sort of a bit behind again now. I'm 14 minutes behind. Uh, cousin Kevin, yeah, but the government don't give a shit about the construction workers. No, they don't, man. Making, the, making these poor buggers work seven days a week and now public holidays, they clearly don't, even though they are the ones that are keeping this economy above, keeping us... Keeping us floating they don't give two shits about it really um and you know we're going to have a lot of burnout in that industry um i can see a lot of you know a lot of decisions being made by people that are gonna you know you know i don't want to say that word but you know suicide man you know the government's just got to back off a little bit with these people you know what i mean i mean who can work seven days a week every week 12 hours a day they're not robots you know what i mean they are human beings as well so take it easy, ScoMo, please, you know. Um, but, yeah, thanks for that, Kev. Appreciate that, man. Um, Tiana, no tigers. What, Penrith are better? You can, you can keep Ivan Cleary all you like, sweetheart. He's yours. Take him. we got Madge McGuire now. Um, Oscar, how you going? How you doing? From down there in Mexico, how you doing, my cuz? 
Um, yeah, he's getting a lot of plugs, mate, because he, you know, I feel sorry for him. He's a dog. He's a doggies fan, mate. So I got to got to you know, give him a lift up somehow. Uh, <laughs> love you, kid. Um, Stella's good, Anne Marie. She's really good. She's um, sitting sleeping out the back at the moment, and yeah, she. Had a, we took her for a massive walk the other day. It was probably like a two-hour walk. She was knackered, absolutely just came back in, waddled into the house, had a drink, had a massive drink of water, and then collapsed on the grass, just tongue out and everything. So she was she was gone. She's doing good. Um, uh, Marley, love you, cuz, she says. Thank you for talking to us. It's my son's birthday today, uh, and I'm off. And I'm off to watch late movies. Keep spreading the love. Oh, I hope you're still here. Happy birthday, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Have a great birthday as best as you can. Um, once this is all over, I'm sure mum and dad will spoil you and take you out and do heaps of awesome things for you. So have a great birthday today, champ. Cage, that's right, Cage. Sorry, dude. Um, it's getting late. It's had a, yeah. Happy birthday, bud. Hope you're doing well. Um, Got to go, cuz. Sharon, no worries. Thanks for hanging around. It's, oh, look, I'm going to probably get going myself. I'm just going to quickly run through these as quick as I can. Uh, and Marie, uh, Marie says, hello. Mum says she's proud of me. I'm proud of you, Mum. Thank you very much. I love you very much. Um, Kevin, Benici, Ryan, once again, you're doing a great job making a difference. Love you, cuz. Love you too, mate. Thank you very much for watching, dude. And, um, you know, if you're getting anything out of this, I expect you to give it to someone else, okay? Spread it out to everybody else, okay? Spread, spread the love, spread the, spread the word of love and uh, and togetherness. You know what I mean? That's our job. Pay it forward. I'm paying it forward because I've, people have helped me in the past. This is me paying it forward. Now you got to pay it forward to other people. If we all keep doing that, it'll all get around and we'll all, you know, we'll all we're all in this together, guys. So, thank you very much. Uh, thanks, Oscar. Thank you very much, buddy. Just trying my best, mate. You know what I mean? I, of, you know, I don't know what else to do. You know, I really don't. Um, I know people are struggling right now, so I'm just trying to – I'm just a person here. I'm just a messenger boy, dude. That's all I'm doing. I'm just on here talking um, for an hour and 37 minutes now. Um, so if you're still hanging with me, you guys, are, I love you. Thank you very much. Um, see you next week, Shilty. Love you, brother. I'll uh, see you next week, man. Please, yeah, join us next week and um, have some more chats and more laughs. Um, love you too, Lisa. Oh, thanks, Emma. I am an old man. I'm almost 40 next year. My God. Anyway. Um, yeah. Emma, I've helped you off your rock bottom. Well, sweetheart, you've, you know, anytime. What can I say? You, you, you're a very special person to me. You've helped me a lot over the last 12 months. Um, well, we haven't known each other for 12 months. Well, that's the thing. We haven't even known each other for 12 months yet. You know what I mean? And we're so close. So um, anything I can do for you, mate, I'm always here for you, so no worries. Yes, and bloody Ivan. Ah, bloody Ivan Cleary, yeah, whatever. Off you go, champ, Mr. Integrity. Um, so, yeah, all right, that's it, guys. Hour and 38 minutes. That's awesome. Um, this is what – this is the point of this, okay? This was the point of me doing this. This wasn't for me to get on and see my ugly mug on TV and talking to them. Oh, TV, on Facebook – and talk to myself. This was about you, giving you guys the opportunity to talk and get things off your chest, uh, which you've all done. Um, yes, I'm about to go to bed. I'm just about to do my sign off, and I'm off, mate. Um, so yeah, look, really appreciate you guys. Yeah, Dad's there, Mum. He's hang on, there. There he is. Yep, love him. He's with me all the time. He's helping me do this. He's helping me get through this. Um, so yeah, um, as I say, reach out, guys. Um, we're only going to get through this together. And, again, this is only temporary, all right? This this time, this shitty time we're going through right now is only temporary. So, you know, we've, we've, come, we've come this far. We can do it a little bit longer. And if we have to do it longer than that, then we will because it's what we do. We're Aussies, mate, and we stick together, all right, and we get through things. We get through the hard times, okay, and we get through them together. So... Love you all. Thank you so much for watching, and um, please join me again next week. Uh, hopefully, I've by then I've figured out how to get someone else on the screen with me. I probably won't, but hopefully I will. If not, it'll be the week after, or maybe the week after. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for everyone for watching, and I'll end this way like I end last last week. Just remember, guys, can't rain all the time.
Tchau!